What up? Eternity with God again. First of all, my shirt right here says I flexed and the sleeves fell off. So, <laughs> um, this video is going to, um, what was I going to make? Oh, yeah. All right. So this video right here is going to be called is hell why is God cruel for making hell? Is God cruel because he made hell? All right. So the answer is no. God created hell. He's righteous. He's perfect. Satan didn't create hell. God created hell for the devil and his, and his angels. Angels. <laughs> Excuse me. Um so that being said, God is not cruel. Actually, in fact, God is righteous. He's justice. He the reason why he created hell is because he hell is deserving for punishment for uh for imperfection. Um God is righteous, he's justice, he judges and justifies uh, people's uh, justification is hell if they don't have the eternal blood of Christ within them by Romans 10 9 so um, so no he is God is not cruel for creating hell God doesn't send anybody to hell people send themselves to hell because they reject God's um, way to salvation they think that they can they tr they don't reject his salvation on purpose they think that they can get to heaven just by being a good person like catholics they think you all you have to do is be a good person don't kill anybody and you'll get to heaven uh just lie that's not that bad uh steal something like like steal a buck for a piece of bubble gum from the bubble gum machine god's not going to send you to hell for buying a piece of bubble gum with a stolen dollar People are looking at it the wrong way. One lie is just as bad as murder because spirit physically no. Spiritually, yes, because uh any sin you've already uh broken all the all the 10 commandments and one of the 10 commandments is thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not kill. So any commandment in along with the 10 commandments along with thou shalt not kill is just as bad as thou shalt not kill because whatever sins you Commit, you've already broken all of the Ten Commandments. So that's that. The Bible says um, you break one of my commandments, you're guilty of breaking them all. So there. So God isn't sending anybody to hell. We send ourselves to hell by rejecting his sacrifice on the cross and trusting in our own works to grant, to give us salvation. We trust in our own ways. We have our own perspective of how to get to heaven. Before I became a Christian, I thought, oh, getting drunk's not bad. Overdosing on 30 Benadryl is not that freaking bad. Um, so, I learned so much since then. Um, and I was so glad. I should have died several times from the... Benadryl crap I did back then. I overdosed on 24 and 30 Benadryl. One time I took 56. Well, 56 was after I got saved. But before I got saved, I had taken 24 a uh, few times. I took 30 in 2011. I got saved September 2014. Uh, 2011, I um, took 30 Benadryl and I couldn't walk straight. I couldn't. I was just so messed up. I was staring at the wall for like two to three hours straight. I, I couldn't do anything at all. You know, I was just so messed up. Uh, I should have died. June of 2014, again, I got saved in September 6th, 2014. So it's way before I got saved. So June of uh, June 2014, I drank a, one of those big bottles of wine, the 750 ml bottles of wine, and I took a bottle of Benadryl, or I, a uh, box of Benadryl, um, which is 24 tablets. I got drunk off of a bottle of wine and I uh, took 24 Benadryl afterwards while I was drunk. I was so messed up. I should have died. Thank God that he kept me alive because he knew that he knew if I had died, I would have gone straight to hell for all eternity. So 
thank God, I didn't even know he existed 100% sure. I was agnostic, but he was there for me still. Even if I, even though I didn't know him, he was still there for me. Thank God. Thank you, God. All right, so um, my shoes were in the living room. I was sitting at my computer after I took 24 Benadryl after I drank a whole bottle of wine. So um, I saw my a pair of my shoes was in the living room of my apartment um, in June 2014, and I was sitting at my computer screen. I saw I looked in the living room. My shoes were there. Two seconds later, they were in my bedroom, and I was still sitting in the same exact spot. I was like, "What the heck is going on?" What is going on? They were right there in the living room, and now they're right here next to me. I have no idea what happened. So anything I did for like two or three seconds later, I completely had no memory of doing it. Isn't that when you're first of all when you're high on twenty four Benadryl without wine, it, you're even more screwed up and stuff like that. And it's a memory eraser. You can't you can't remember stuff. You start singing a song and you're like, huh? What? What is going on? I can't remember. What was I doing? You're 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 uh on um and when you're like talking to people having a conversation with people who aren't even there you're like you're talking in the middle of the conversation you're like what were you talking about again i can't remember anyways i'm not gonna brag about that I i'm not proud of it but um so god's not sending anybody help people are sending themselves that we're already on the way to hell if you don't have salvation through our uh Savior, Jesus Christ, we are already on the road to hell because we're born in sin. Anybody uh, above the age of accountability is already on the way to hell. We are already on the way to hell. We're not on the way to heaven like people think that they're good. God's going to let me into heaven. No. So if you died um, as a if you died in your sins without accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, come knocking on the, the, the gates of heaven saying, God, I'm moving in with you because I'm a good person. What do you think he would say? No, right? Because you have no relationship with him. He doesn't know you. You don't know God. He doesn't know you. You're a complete stranger to him. He created you. Yes, he's your creator. Yes, he loves you. Yes, but you don't know him. You're a stranger to him. Um. So you knock on. He said, "I'm moving in with you because I'm a good person." He said, "No." Here's a good. Uh, good. Bill Wee says this. Um. Here's a good example. If you find the most expensive house in the country, go knocking on the door. They open the door. Say, you tell them, I'm moving in, in with you because I'm a good person. They'll say, exactly. They'll say, no, because we don't know you. You're not, you, you have no relation with them. So he won't let you into heaven. He, you'll corrupt heaven just as you did. we did earth Had, have you let you to, if he lets you into heaven as a sinner. So no, the only way to heaven is by having our blood, our sins cleansed and um, um, forgiven through and washed clean through the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Romans ten nine, He will He will cleanse us within us. Whenever we sin, it's already forgiven, past, present, and future. So that being said, I'm not just going to say, "Oh, you're, I'm saved. I'm going to go commit murder. I'm going to I'm going to go kill someone. I'm going to go rape people. I'm going to go be a school shooter." No, examples only. No. That's not if you if you're truly saved, you won't even want to do those stuff. You're a new creation. The gold is gone and the new has come. So, uh, but he's not sending anybody to hell. We're already going to hell because we're born in sin. He he came to get us off the road to hell. We're already on the road to hell. He's he, we're setting ourselves to eternal damnation and burning in the lake of fire and smoke. We're not going. He's not sending us there. We're already going there. So that's evidence. That's proof that God isn't cruel for doing that. No, if God is cruel, remember just remember God is the same. It's the same God who died a horrific death to save you from that horrific place for all eternity. How is that cruel? That's the complete opposite of cruel. Cruel is me. This isn't me. This is infinitely sweet and loving for somebody to do god will die for just one person if you were if you and me were the only people in the entire world god would die a horrific death just for you just for one person 10 million times over just to save us from hell that's how awful hell is 
and it lasts for all eternity. People think annihilationism, meaning will eventually in hell will be burned to ashes and cease to exist. No, their torment, uh, the smoke of their torment will ascend forever and ever, and they have they'll have no rest day nor night. It's eternal punishment. It's eternal punishment in hell. Again, God's not cruel. We are sending, we ourselves send us to hell. He isn't sending, he's not cruel for making hell. He's justice. God isn't only a God of love. He's justice and righteous and sins, anything that's against him is, deserves punishment for all eternity because he is righteous. He is justice and he, um, is eternal. He God would not be a God of love if he let sin go unpunished. He would not be a God of love if he didn't if he didn't justify people. God, Heavenly Father, I love you, Father. Thank you so much for creating me. Thank you, God, so much for dying a horrific death on the cross for my sins to save me from eternal damnation. God in heaven, please let these people who are watching this video not, please don't let them think that you're cruel for making that place. Please, Father, help them to get saved. Help them to tell their loved ones and family members and friends how to receive your Son as Lord and Savior. As Romans 10.9 says, Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I will see you in heaven for all eternity. Amen. He died a horrific death to save us from this terrible place for all eternity. We're not sending ourselves there. Or he's not sending us there. We're sending ourselves there because we didn't accept the way to salvation that he made. We don't make it. He, it's his word stands eternal. His world, his word is forever. His word lasts forever. He can't go back on his word. If he went back on his word, he would be lying. He he can't change his mind. Um, he, if he goes back on his word, he he would be changing. He can't do that. Unfortunately, as Badly as he wants to. People say that God is powerful enough to do anything. True. But he cannot do. He's He can't do anything. That would go back on what he says. He can't. It's impossible for God to sin. And if he went back on his word. Changing his mind and stuff. That would erase. That would. If he went back on his word. Jesus would have died for nothing. So. He can't do that. He cannot. Do, he can't change the way of salvation. It's written and it's it's down on paper for all eternity. Except Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you'll be written in the book of life for all eternity. That's the way to salvation. Nobody is. God's not sending anybody to hell. We are already sending ourselves there. All right. See you next time.